Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 10 on the five bedroom house that we are putting up for Mr. James. This is the final episode on the five bedroom house that we are putting up for Mr. James. Are you ready? Let's dive into the video. In your view, is a 3D representation of the five bedroom house that we are putting up for Mr. James. This project is located at Tama Community 5. All right, as of now, we are doing a slight modification from the five bedroom house to a six bedroom house. The reason being that is uh, Mr. James want to have someone stay in the house to watch over the house in his absence. And therefore, there is one room in the ground floor, which is a master bedroom. We are dividing that master bedroom into two and then making it a boys' quarter and a guest room instead of the earlier master bedroom. Because there is one master bedroom on the top floor. All right. So that is the main reason why we are shifting from a five bedroom to a six bedroom now. In your view, it's built and secure. I'm always advocating for security. Yes, in the event of your burglary proof and Turkish door, they will, they will not be able to give you details as to who tries to break into your house. You need to monitor under 24 surveillance. Um, any activity that looks fishy, you can report them immediately. So you will need your CCTV cameras, video intercoms, um, electric fencing, wire mesh, biometric access control, GPS car tracker, automatic gate opening, all the security features that you need. Please contact Mr. Nana Kwame Yampedu. They are very, very important. This is an experienced person I have been advocating. So contact him and you will not be disappointed. All right, so let's dive back into Mr. James's project. So in your view is a porch. Or we say the main entrance okay so this is the main entrance from the main entrance you enter into a corridor so this corridor leads straight to where the gentleman is is heading straight to the kitchen and to your left is the utility area where we have the powder room the solar panel room or maybe um, electrical room and then from the electrical room we head straight to the laundry room all right this is where we had to do the extension because we needed to create enough room for the laundry. The laundry is not big enough. So this is the laundry area. Um, as of now, our total expenses or expenditure is 205 Ghana cities, 276. So 200, 205,276 Ghana cities. Translating that into dollars, it's seventeen thousand one hundred and six dollars thirty-three cent. I'm using a rate of one dollar is to twelve Ghana cities. All right. Earlier on, I had added, I have added the cost of the decking, which was um, estimated or a projected estimate of thirty-seven thousand, which I included in my earlier episode in episode seven. So. I decided not to add the decking yet since we are not there yet. You understand? So I'm only giving you up to date estimate so that once we get to the decking, I will add whatever expenses that occur there to this one so that we know the total expenditure. So as of now, from the foundation to where we are now, okay, including the extension and everything that we are doing now, it's $17,106.33. All right, so I'm tr very honored and so excited um, taking this project. Uh, my only disappointment was my earlier Mason, whom I removed from this project because he was causing a lot of delays and other issues. And that is why I moved um, Alex Dankwa from the channel and I introduced Mr. Stephen Opon, who had been here with me in Dubai for so many years before moving back to Ghana. Um, earlier on, he had worked on the Elmina project, uh, sorry, the Winneba project for Madame Kate. 
and then from the Winneba project we moved down to the Almina and then from Almina I moved Mr. Stephen upon right here to Temacom District 5 to work on Mr. James's project for me. From here we proceeded to um, I think East Legon Hills and other locations which I'll be sharing very soon on the channel. So this is the boy scotter room where we have demarcated. Usually or uh, earlier on it was a big room all the way to the other side and now we've divided it into two creating it um, having a master um, a boy scotter here with the bathroom right in there. So this will serve as the bathroom Okay, the shower on the left and then WC on the right or whichever way you can have the shower on the right hand side and then the WC on the left hand side. Are you with me? Yes, yeah, so it is always necessary to have someone stay in the house to watch over the house and that person should be very honest and faithful because you still have people stay in the house and yet you have burglars come in and steal cables. You understand? It's unheard of. So we need to be very careful whom we allow to stay in our property or to even watch over our property. Nowadays, you even pay people to watch over your materials and yet they still come and steal them. Yeah, you have people, they will tell you, I'm not home 24 hours. But why were you paid to watch over all these materials? You understand? So... Uh, this time around, once you're ready, electrical should be the last thing you do, okay? Make sure you secure all the areas and everything, the doors, the burglary proof, because even with the burglary proof, they are putting a crowbar or even a jack in there, jacking it up and entering your room and cutting all the cables. And these are people within the same loop, you understand? So be very careful the kind of people you employ to, to do your project. They are the same people that turn around and steal from you. Are you with me? So this will be the guest room. Earlier on, it was a big room. And that will be the washroom area. Okay. And heading outside. Okay. And this partition block here is the partition for the guest room or perhaps the boys' quarters. Are you with me? So eventually... We are almost done. We are almost coming to the final works on this project where all the extensions that needed to be done have been done. We are now going to cast all the pillars. And once all the pillars have been casted, we will now be waiting for the decking. You understand? Yes. And Mr. James would like to take some time and you know, put himself together before proceeding for the decking. Because I believe once we go for the decking, we're going to head straight from the blog work and then to roofing. And that side usually does not cost that much. Once you, you know, um, once you pass by that of the decking, the remaining is just a blog work and then that of the lintel. Are you with me? Yes. So they are very, very necessary. So the blog work for the guest bathroom has been raised up and then we broke those walls to create a window. Okay. Yes, so there have been a lot of changes. As I say, we revolve as human beings. New day, new ideas, okay? So don't be afraid to take that risk. Take the decision, okay? And then make sure that the house is designed in a way that once you stay in there, you will not be disappointed, okay? Yes, once you stay in there, you will not feel you know any regret for the rest of your lives you understand so be satisfied be okay if something is not going wrong uh, make sure you correct it are you with me make sure you correct it it is very very important so again i emphasize that you can use um 32.5 r for your blog work okay yes there are so many cement products in the market you can go in for them. They have Diamond, Simav, okay, um, Gasem. Every, all of them are there, 32. And then 42.5R, we can use them for your, your pillars, your slabs, your flow deckings, okay. Yes, those are all ways of cutting down costs. You don't necessarily have to use 42.5R throughout the entire project. Well, if you have the finance for that, 
please go ahead okay because in most of these real estate when you go they have so many ways they they put things together you understand but you don't see them all you have to do you see is wow you see the finished product you say wow and then you can pay huge money for it and the next minute you you will see some cracks here and there because most of them they use shortcuts you understand it's not healthy here we are showing you everything right here on the channel whatever we are doing i'm exhibiting it right here and i'm educating people so that they can be wise learn some few things and then you know ask questions to the amazings or perhaps they are four men are you with me it is very very important okay i have taught how to calculate for iron rods um how to you know calculate the workmanship for blog work are you with me i'll be coming your way with that of a fence wall if you have a, a single plot what is the total cost for the fence wall okay if you need iron rods or you don't need iron rods in them if it's a two plot i'm going to provide you details of the cost of fencing a two plot and a single plot are you with me i'll be bringing all of that on the channel so that at least those who are ready to putting up to putting up a fence wall will be able to do that all right so eventually we are almost coming to the end of the block work okay those areas need to be patched yes they need to use the mortar to patch all those areas i think the earlier mason did that are you with me so this is the bathroom created neatly very beautiful so at least we have the person staying in the house with the exit at the back of the building you understand the exit will be at the back of the building so so far from the main porch you enter into the corridor to where the gentleman is standing okay to your left is the powder room which we have redesigned to your right this is the hall so huge and beautiful okay and to your left and that will be the visitor's toilet where the bench have been situated. That is a visitor's toilet. Are you with me? Yes, mostly it's about 3 feet or 3.2. And the next one will be for the utility room. So always incorporate ut utility room in your designs. Yes, um, actually for my house, I wasn't able to introduce that based on the design that I had. Okay, so this area will be for the laundry. The laundry, you could have two laundry machines. You could have shelves, okay, where you keep all your detergent. Okay, yes, and other um, shelves or wardrobe where you can keep some clothes right in there. And this is the kitchen porch. Okay, this is the kitchen porch. So once you're in the kitchen porch, you don't have to even go to the kitchen. You can go straight to the laundry. And then from there, you can even head towards the corridor to the hall. And this is the kitchen. This goes straight to the porch. You understand? The design is unique. It's unique. So all the blog work done neatly. Okay, we are going to cast pillar on those pipes. Okay, the windows are wide open for enough ventilation. All right. So, yeah. If in case you are interested and you want me to build your house for you, Please do not hesitate to drop me an email and then send me your drawings. Um, I will charge you $60 for the estimate. And then together, once the estimate is done, we will go through it. Areas that you think that are not required, we can take them off. Once we come to the final conclusion of the estimate, you can pay the money into my account. And then I'll begin the construction for you. That is the first option. The second option, if you have someone back home that you feel that the money should go to, he, he will receive the money and then we will do the project and then he will pay us. You understand? So whichever way you want it, we are ready to assist you. Okay, my goal is to help everyone build a house so that you don't go through those headache of, um, I'm calling the mason, he's not coming and someone took my money, they squandered my money, they ate my money we are not going to do that here we want to make sure that at least wherever you are you can build a house you don't necessarily have to be there but you'll be seeing everything on the channel i'm not going to mention your full name 
I just have to mention just a first name or perhaps a nickname that you give me. I'm going to put that name right there. I'm going to publish all your projects on the channel so you can see your house wherever you are. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. So here, there's no scamming here. We are honest people. Okay. We, I provide details of everything that I do. So the remaining works now is just the front pillars. Are you with me? We've raised this building to a height of about three meters. Are you with me? So there's no lintel. And that is one factor. We're eliminating lintel here. Okay, so the height of the room can be increased for enough ventilation. In case you have a ceiling fan, you shouldn't have any contact with the ceiling fan when you raise your hands. The height of majority of us is not even more than seven feet. Are you with me? And seven feet is a standard door height. So here we're going to have a fan light because the door height is more than seven feet. It's almost about nine to ten feet. So we're going to have um, a fan light with all the doors, which will be so beautiful. You understand? It will be so beautiful. So we are almost done. The pillars all boarded and casted. So the only thing right now is the front pillars. And those ones we have to rent a mold because they are round pillars. And once those are done, we are going to rent a plywood from one of my subscribers, Madam Cynthia. Okay, which I'm already in contact with. We are going to buy it from her because she has already finished her casting. So we are going to buy it from her of half the price. And then we're going to use it for Mr. James's decking. So probably Mr. James's decking might even be cheaper. Are you with me? So once we are done with the board, there's another gentleman called Emmanuel who also told me um, he will be done with his uh, plywood. Uh, for his decking in case anybody is in that stage and needs a plywood Please let me know. I will connect you to mr. Emmanuel and he will sell his plywood and bamboos and everything to you For a cheaper rate so that you don't spend so much on your decking You understand so I'm going to do my best to help mr. James reduce cost on his decking in the in the best way that I can You understand? Yes, I'm going to help him reduce a lot of costs all right so those are the other tips that we add to making sure that our clients do not spend so much are you with me it is very very necessary so this is the boy cottage that we created this is the porch for the boy cottage at the back of the building this is the window okay yes is this not beautiful so a five bedroom turned to a six bedroom wow creativity so this is the entrance okay so yeah it's not that big enough but it's quite reasonable there's a wardrobe in there you can decide not to even put the wardrobe okay yes you can decide not to even put the wardrobe so that's the washroom it's a built-in washroom everything right in there okay for the boys quarter so the person will stay here and watch over your house whilst you are not around are you with me so lovely people um i think i have said so much and in case you are in that stage where you want to build your house and you don't have anybody please do not hesitate to reach out to me i have an architect okay i have two architects on my channel mr frank hammond who is my boss he's an electrical engineer he does the american 110 220 okay he does all of them yes he has a big company shama electricals so whatever that you need when it pertaining to electricals and solar systems, you can contact Mr. Frank Hammond for any consultation. He's well versed in such areas and he will guide you in the right direction. I have Jonathan Tete, who is also an architect. He can also assist you with land in case you need a land. Jonathan Tete will assist you in that direction. If you are interested in buying the land, Jonathan Tete will assist you in that direction. Okay. Yes, I have carpenters, I have steel benders, I have professional plumbers, okay. Yes, I have CCTV cameras, um, professionals. All the artisans that you need is a complete team. So we don't want to, you know, bring in anybody to, to mess up whatever we are doing. All right. Myself, my name is Mr. Bright Antonio. In case you need my assistance, I prepare all the estimate. 
please write to me at brightantonio at outlook.com and I will charge you $60, prepare the estimate for you, and we're going to get going. All right? So, lovely people, this brings us to the end of the five bedroom, 10, six bedroom for Mr. James. Apparently, everything is done now. Completed. We're only waiting for the decking. And um, we're going to wait for a month or two um, for Mr. James to put himself together. And then we'll come back again on this. So look forward for a new video where we move on to uh, Madame Cecilia's project, which is at East Legon Hills. And I'll be dropping those videos very soon. From me to you is Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.